So inside grips looks like this. Using outside grips. We're now going to work on some elevation drills using grips that involve us getting our hands on the inside and then using grips um, keeping our hands on the outside. So I'm here with Darren, I'm using my feet to control the distance. Maybe on the first one I'm able to get maybe a collar tie, inside bicep tie. I put my first hook on the inside, pull them forward, and I scoop my hips in here. I then pummel my hands inside and I get C grips underneath his armpits. And I'm looking to keep my two elbows inside my knees. This kind of reinforces my frames when I lift them. So I'm gonna scoop my hips underneath Darren's and we put all the way onto his hand. We're able to start going to different leg lock attacks from here. So again, we have our feet on our training partner's hips or training partner's knees, depending on what distance we're at. I managed to get a collar tie, inside bicep tie. I scoop my hips forward. I get C grip, second C grip. Two of my elbows are on the inside of my knees. I scoop my hips underneath Darren's hips. Common mistake that people do here is they fall back and they try to lift with their legs. It's gonna be way too hard. So what you wanna do is get underneath the center of gravity by scooting your hips underneath your training partner's hips and then putting the weight onto the hands where we can start going into leg lock attacks. So again, so we're here, hand fighting, looking for our grips, collar tie, bicep tie. I scoop my feet on the inside so I have my two butterfly hooks in between Darren's legs. I managed to get my C grips, elbows are on the inside of my knees. I scoop my hips underneath and I put the weight onto Darren's hands. So if Darren is wise to this and he's not letting me get my hands on the inside and he's constantly posting on my shoulders and he's trying to keep me away, I can use this to my advantage. So on the last one we were able to do this with our hands inside our training partner's arms. On this one, Darren's just being really defensive and he's push, trying to like uh, push himself away from me and not let me get chest to chest or any grips. So I'm still controlling the distance with my foot on his hip and my foot on his knee, but this time I'm gonna pull him forward so I take the weight off of his heels and I bring my elbows on the inside here. So elbows are on the inside. If Darren tries to pull his arms back, I scoop my hips underneath and I put the weight onto his hands where he can start attacking from here. So again, we'll just do it from a different angle. So Darren's framing on my shoulders. I'm not able to get my hands on the inside. Maybe he's kind of uh, tracking my hands with his elbows. So I grab his triceps. My elbows go on the inside of my hips. If Darren tries to pull away, I pull him forward. My two butterfly hooks go on the inside. I scoop my hips under Darren's hips, and then I pull the weight onto his hands. And then we can go into all our different types of leg entries and sweeps from here. So again, it's a two-part drill. We'll do it when we get the hands on the inside. So hands are on the inside, C grips, weight onto the hands. So again, elbows are reinforced on our knees. I scoop my hips in and put the weight onto the hands. If I'm not able to get my hands on the inside, Darren's post on my shoulders, you grip the triceps and you keep his elbows inside your elbows. So if Darren tries to pull his arms back, I'm gripping on his triceps here. If he really does like uh, pull his arm away and you feel that he's really trying to uh, like break free, you can use this to wrestle up. So again, here, Darren tries to pull away and he does free his arm, we can wrestle up and get our uh, our takedowns going or we can use this to start upgrading our grips and then go into our sweeps. So Darren's elbows are on the inside of my elbows. I grip the tricep. My elbows go inside my hips. I scoop my hips underneath. I put my feet inside first, scoop my hips underneath and then bring Darren's weight forward and put the weight onto his hands. We're ready to start attacking our leg locks and our sweeps from here. So we'll do it in real speed. going to do our first um, entry into the saddle from butterfly guard using outside grips and inside grips so again I'm controlling my training partner with my 
frames so I'm keeping his hips as far away from my hips as possible I'm trying to keep his shoulders and his head as away from from my hips so if Darren tries to come in I can use my hands to keep him away and then I can get my hands on the inside so now I have inside grips once I feel this happening I'll pull his weight forward and I'll put in my second butterfly hook and I scoop my hips forward I then get my hands underneath my training partner's armpit so that's our inside grips I scoop my hips in a second time and I put the weight onto Darren's hands here. So once this happens, I'll keep this grip onto my tread or my uh, grip on my training partner's armpit, and then I'll swim my left hand on the inside, palm facing up. I'm going to turn to 90 degrees, and I have two choices. I can either grab it or grip at the back of the knee, or I can grip on the inside of the knee here, where knuckles face me. So I can either grip on the back of the knee, or I can go on the inside. So it's really up to you, whichever you prefer. So I'll do both. So I'm then going to bring my right foot underneath my left leg and I turn to 90 degrees and I hook my training partner's hip with my right leg. I then bring my training partner's legs up towards my head as close as I can. I cross my feet, I kick my training partner down and I'm either going to land in an upright position or I'm going to fall to my left hand side. The reason I do this is if I roll to my right hip, it's not the end of the world, but it's just going to encourage the running man escape. So again, I'll do it from a different angle. So I managed to uh, keep my training partner's hips away, keeping the shoulders and heads away from me. Darren's framing and he's looking to get his grips. I managed to get my hands on the inside. I put one hook in. I find it safe to bring my second hook in. I scoop my hips forward and I get my grips underneath my training partner's hips. My elbows are on the inside, I scoop my hips then in again a second time and I put the weight onto Darren's hands. I keep the grip on the armpit with my right hand, I circle towards my right so my head moves to my right hand side, I get my reverse lat grip, palm facing up here. Once I get my reverse lat grip, I'm either going to grab the back of the knee or the inside of the knee. So this time we're going to go on the inside of the knee. I turn to 90 degrees and I bring my right leg underneath my left leg and I hook my training partner's right leg with my right foot. So then what we do is we extend to bring my training partner's legs as close as I can to my head. I cross my feet. I kick my feet down towards the floor. I'm either gonna land in an upright position or I'm gonna fall to my left hand side where we can start going into backside 50-50 attacks from here. So again, this time we'll do it from uh, outside grips. So we, my training partner is framing on my shoulders. He stopped me from trying to get my hips under my uh, training partner's hips. I scoop my hips in, my feet go inside as well, and I put the weight onto my training partner's hands. Again, we get our reverse lat grip. We grip either outside of the knee or inside the knee. So last time we went inside, this time we're gonna go outside. I turn to 90 degrees and I bring my right leg underneath my left leg and I have active feet here with the left foot and the right foot. I'm going to draw an arc where I bring his leg as close as I can towards my head. I cross my feet. I kick my training partner down to the floor. I'm either going to sit up in this up, upright position or I'm going to fall to my left hand side or I can start separating the legs and then we can go into different types of leg lock attacks from here. So we'll do that again in real speed. So inside grips. Looks like this. Using outside grips, 